Hey there, my name is Gavin Lee, and I play Squidward Q Tentacles in the new Broadway show, SpongeBob SquarePants. Squidward is an octopus. Why he's called Squidward, I don't know. And basically, he's the grouchy neighbor. No. He has these extremely annoying neighbors, one called SpongeBob SquarePants and one called Patrick Starr, and all they do is annoy the heck out of him all the time. All he wants to do is practice his clarinet and be a big star. I think most of the Spongebob fans who watch the TV show and then the ones that come to see the show, they are kind of on Squidward's side. They're like, I can relate to him. Some days you just want to be grouchy and you want to have three cups of coffee before you talk to anyone. That's Squidward. What if it said squid color? Every time I walk up from Penn Station to come to work, I see about a thousand Squidwards bashing into me as I'm trying to get through Times Square. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of like him. I like to be sarcastic. I have three kids now, and so I'm always up at 6.30 in the morning, and when you're doing a Broadway show and you live out in the suburbs, I'm a little bit Squidward at 6.30 in the morning, and my kids know they're not going to get me on the floor with them playing with Legos. It's going to take a while. I'm going to need three coffees. I have these two extra legs that I have to wear. They're pretty heavy. I can't go up and down stairs. They're a big pain, but they're worth it because everyone just comments on these fantastic designed legs that... I get to tap dance with four tap shoes on, and it's, it's really cool. The costume's really cool, and it's nice that I actually don't have to change. My show is relatively easy until my act two number. In the smack in the middle of act two, I have this fantastic number, which couldn't be more Broadway if you threw another 10,000 sequence at it. And I nearly die at the end of my number, and I need an oxygen tank. I love doing eight shows a week. At the ripe old age of 46, my first professional job, I was 20, so we're talking 26 years of doing this, and I've been really lucky, but there's been some years where there's nothing going on and I haven't got a job, and so I'm just so grateful. You know, the older you get, the more grateful you are that you, you are able to still to do this as a living. Whenever I get a brilliant job like this, I just want it to last forever. I mean, if SpongeBob wants to still be here in five years, then they'll have me. I'll still be putting those legs on every night.